Welcome to the Blitz Show, brought to you by Covers, where Derek Carty and his Blitz projections look to pick off the best. Plus, EV plays for every primetime game. Sunday morning football. I guess we can throw this one in there. Let's have football, 930 across the pond. It's a home game for the Bills, where they're facing a Jaguars team that is was already in London, played last week, is rested. That doesn't make any sense. And there's literally no data to see what the effect or what advantage Jacksonville has uh, facing the the traveling team. Yeah. From a narrative standpoint, you would expect them to have a little bit of an advantage, just, you know, having been on the time zone longer and, you know, not having to take flights and everything, but uh, it's, it's tough to know exactly what the impact of that is going to be. Yeah. Buffalo arrived Friday in London uh the blitz has been absolutely on fire another 2-0 thursday night a little 7-1 run over the last two weeks looking at injuries Derek, uh greg russo defensive end for buffalo will not play uh tredavious white uh, torn achilles christian bedford limited uh but hopefully buffalo can get him in there and then on the other side jacksonville jamal agnew is questionable zay jones looking more probable than doubtful uh, and Devin Lloyd, a uh, big piece of their defense, is also uh, – he was DNP on Thursday. So let's get to it. We got leans. We got plays. Obviously, more confidence in the plays. And we start off with Evan Ingram, under 48.5 receiving yards, minus 114. That's at FanDuel. That's a play. I really like this play on the fact that his ceiling's a little high right now. His stock's a little high. He's getting 20% target share. But this is a Buffalo team that year in and year out has been notorious at shutting down opposing tight ends, and they're doing so again. Uh, I know we don't like to throw fantasy points around, but it's it's a nice little jam. But they allowed the second fewest fantasy points at the position, seventh lowest receiving yards, and zero touchdowns to the position. What's the projection here for Ingram? Projection here for Ingram is 38 yards, so we're getting basically 10 yards under the line here. The market has been moving down, opened as high as 49 and a half. Uh, some books have it as low as 45 and a half right now. So getting in here, 48 and a half minus 114 looks really good. Uh, Engram has seen inflated targets the last couple of weeks because Zay Jones has been out. But with Zay Jones presumably back, we're hoping for Zay Jones to be back. Uh, you know, the team's going to have to split the, the targets around a little bit more. Like you said, this is a tough matchup for Engram. And this is a spot where we should probably expect to see deflated uh, play volume in general. Buffalo has played at the slowest pace of play in a neutral context of any team in football this year. So if Buffalo is playing slow, Jacksonville going to take longer for them to get the ball back, going to have fewer plays overall. And so you put all that together and the under here on Ingram looks pretty good. Yeah. If that offense keeps rolling, keeps I mean, 11 play drives, eating that clock. There's not going to be a lot of time of possession on the Jacksonville side. So Evan Ingram under 48 and a half receiving yards, minus 114. That's at FanDuel. That's a play at the time of recording on Friday morning. Then we go over to the other one. There's been a lot of stands out there, and I get it. But Calvin Ridley under four and a half receptions, minus 110. This is a lean uh, three straight games with three or fewer catches and 40 or fewer receiving yards. Just the two targets last week. One was in busted coverage for the touchdown. Christian Kirk surpassed him in uh, total targets for the team. Now uh, passing Ridley, 54% catch rate. He's getting targets, but he's certainly not catching them. Yeah, and even the targets are not as as plentiful as some people expected coming into the year. He only has this year a 19% target rate. Uh, last week, like you said, only got the one 7% target rate over the last three weeks, only 15%. And this has been a lot of those games without say Jones in the mix, eating up some of the targets. So, uh, really hasn't been great for Ridley so far. I mean, there's a chance that he becomes, you know, the 25%, 30% target rate guy that he kind of used to be that people thought he'd be this year, but he hasn't been that guy yet. And Zay Jones is back and there's the pace of play issues. Uh, the under here looks like the sharp side for Ridley. This market opened at five and a half everywhere. Ooh. Wish I got a five and a half line, but even four and a half minus one ten still looks pretty good. The uh, the blitz blitz rather is projecting three point nine, so we're getting 
you know, more than half of a reception under at, at pretty good odds. And the market has been, has been tumbling this way. So Sunday morning football, the blitz is on Evan Ingram under 48 and a half passing yards, minus 114. That's a fan duel. That's a play. We've seen that market fall as well. Uh, and then Calvin Ridley under four and a half receptions, minus 110. That's a lean. That market's also falling. And if you're there, if you're listening to the end of this video and you're watching it on Sunday and you're like, where are you seeing 48 and a half yards? Well, <laughs> you, you should be happy that we're putting out something that is actually ahead of the market. So you got to watch this video early for sure. Like uh, you'd be, I, we wouldn't feel great if 48 and a half was still hanging around on Sunday <laughs> and you guys are like, oh, thanks for the play. No, uh, I mean, Thursday night football, Antonio Gibson. We moved that market from like 22 and a half to like down to 15. And yeah. he was he, he didn't carry the ball. Didn't get a single carry. <laughs> yeah. And his, his carry, his he, he was at four and a half. And that was also showing great value on the yeah. blitz. So uh, don't want to hear it in the comments. Uh, get to this thing early as we always do. We'll post on mine. We'll post uh, on the covers Twitter. And Derek will also retweet everything we put out. Get to these numbers earlier because – the blitz certainly has influence on, on prop markets and we're starting to see it significantly heading in to week five. So that will wrap us up for Sunday night football. Derek and I will be back for or Sunday night. That will wrap up Sunday morning football. Derek and I will be back for Sunday night football, more Monday night football as the blitz continues to pick off plus EV plays for every primetime game. That will do it for us. Blitz show brought to you by covers. See you back here. Sunday night football. <laughs>